Hey everyone, it's Audrey and today's video is how I made these home stuck troll horns. Um, to be quite honest, I don't read. I haven't read the comic or anything, but I've seen tons of people cosplay it and I looked at the characters and I thought they looked really cool and I loved the whole ombre effect that their horns had. So I decided to make some of my own and this is how I did them. Hopefully this comes in handy for you or any kind of other horns that you might make for a cosplay or I don't know, anything to wear. I don't, I don't know. But um, yeah, this was super cheap and really easy to do. I mainly did this because I wanted to practice my painting and yeah. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And uh, without further ado, let's just get on into the video now, shall we? All right, so here's everything you'll need. You'll need some oven baked clay. I'm using Sculpey, a headband, acrylic paint, some glue, and Mod Podge, which is actually optional, but it helps create that glossy look. So for starters, we're just going to take our Sculpey, and you're going to need two packs of this, um, one for each horn. We're going to use the whole pack for each horn. If you want to make them bigger, then you'll need more clay. Pretty much common sense. Um, just kind of roll everything out into a ball, and then eventually roll it, roll it into a log to the length of how you want it and the size that you want it, and then you just shape it to your liking. and I'm going to paint this all over the horn just so I get a kind of a nice smooth surface to paint upon and I actually noticed that my acrylics dried a lot faster when I uh, did this. This part is optional. You don't really have to do it. I don't think it'll make a difference but I decided to do that. And then afterwards you just kind of let it sit and it takes about five minutes or so for the whole thing to completely dry. You can use a hair dryer or a heat gun to make it dry faster if you are in a hurry or in a rush. These are the colors I used, um, bright tomato, harvest orange and bright yellow. I used all of these and kind of just mixed them together to create different hues for um, painting the horn. Also, sorry, um, this is going to cut off. I didn't realize that my camera stopped recording as I'm painting, so you're actually only going to see me do like two colors here and then we're just going to hop right in to um, the finished product. So, here we are. Here is the finished horn, as you can see. It's very, very pretty. I'm so proud of myself. Anyways, um, I'm just going to fill in a few holes and spaces here and there that need to be, um, to make it look a little bit more clean and everything like that. As you can see, it dries matte. If you do want your horns to be matte, then you can go ahead and finish here and glue them on to the headband. I, however, wanted them to have a glossy effect. So with that being said, I took the Mod Podge and I painted it all over the horns and let it dry. Pretty much the same process as before, um, you just want to make sure that your paint is dry, that way it doesn't smear and go places that you don't want it to go and I just feel like glossy, um, like a glossy effect just makes it look a little bit more finished and a little bit more refined than leaving it matte. playing around 
of your horns before you glue them down. That way you don't have to constantly pull them off and worry about breaking them. But silly me, I didn't do that. Um, I found I liked the placement on the lower half of the headband than I did at the top. Plus it was more reminiscent of the character that I was trying to uh, recreate the look from. And I highly recommend using hot glue just because it dries a lot faster than E6000, even though E6000 holds a lot better, but the hot glue did its job and held just as well. Once you have your horns down, um, you just put it on your head and rock it. If you do kind of mess up around the headband, I wrap my top part, I wrap the top part in tool just to kind of cover up the um, glue spots so I can it off with scissors and I pretty much called it a day. So here is the finishing look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below or if you try this out, I would love to see pictures. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!